Okay guys, really quickly what I'm going to show you today is how to load your client's budget into Xero. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but our experience is this is the fastest and easiest way to do that. So um, what you need to have done already is created a client account. Obviously, uh, more importantly, you need to make sure that you've inserted or imported the client's chart of accounts. Um, go to our other demos to find out how to do that. Assuming that you've done that though, you simply go up to reports and into budget manager. So here you can see it brings up all the clients spending categories uh, with some dates. Now it'll start with overall budget. What you want to do is go to the month that you're actually starting. Now for Sam sample, Let's just say we're going to do it from April 2013 and click update and it opens up these blue boxes. Now we could start typing in numbers here and putting it in one by one uh, or using the little fill function that Xero's got where we just click the green arrow and it pops up and says uh, how do you want to apply this and we could apply that to each month and you could do that line by line and it would work but the fastest way to do it is to actually export the file fix it up outside of zero and then import it back in. So we're going to do that now. So go down to export, click CSV and then open. So it'll spit the file out and it'll look like this. Uh, pretty messy so just click the Excel sheet in the top left hand corner and then get this little icon up and then double click and it'll bring up all of the uh, right column widths. Let's just make it full screen. And you can see here we've got all the spending categories on the left and then the months on the right. Now even though we've said we want to start from April, it's actually loaded in January, February and March. So make sure that when you're doing it, you're only really starting it from the month that you want to start working off. Now you could either do it here um, and do it one at a time, but really what you're going to try and do is work off uh, the budget that you've created. So we know here that Sam's wages are 4,500, so we'd go and find uh, 4,500, we'd go and Sam, find Sam's wages, put in 4,500, highlight the cell that you've just completed, hold down shift, go over to the right, hold down and then let go, hold down control and then R and it'll fill all of those. Then we do that for each one. So school fees, childcare, let's go back and find school fees and childcare. Now you can see I can't actually see that top row so what I want to do is go back and actually fix it so I can see it. So this little icon here, click on that, hold it down, drag down until that grey fuzzy bar sitting underneath account. Let go, go up to view, freeze panes, hit freeze panes and now when I scroll down it keeps that top row so I know which one I'm working off. So again go back, school fees, 200 bucks a month. So find school fees, go over to April, 200. Now there's a fast way to go to the end, hold down control and shift, push the, the right key and then control R. Now I can show you how to do that for each one and put in other education of a hundred. You can even copy it and just do it that way. And control R. But I've already completed this one earlier so what I'm going to do is close out of this. I'm not going to save that one. If I was saving it, I'd make sure I saved it in CSV because otherwise Xero doesn't like it when you're importing it back in. I'm going to go back over to my budget and the one that I've already finished, which really only took me about five minutes tops to put all the budget details in and get it to match my other budget that I'd created, I'm going to click the import button. Hit browse. Go and find it. There it is. Sam sample overall budget, hit open and import. Hit 
of confirm. And we're done. Let's say all the numbers are in there and our budgets match up. And that, guys, in a nutshell, is really quickly how you create the client budgets. Any more questions, uh, email us at ysc at experiencewealth.com.au or go to the website www.yourspendingcoach.com.au.